Having the bodybuilder bully here. I'm here with Oliver Prokaska. Close enough. Say, say, <laughs> say, tell, tell them. Wait. It's Prokaska. Okay, all right. Cool. Well, anyway. <laughs> all right. So, uh, so I've known Oliver for probably like a year and a half. Yeah. We've been talking on Instagram, and I saw so, uh, so much potential in this guy. Uh, I even had, I even had him with PR for quite a while, um, selling wraps and stuff like that. Amazing physique. Uh, tell us a little bit about your uh, about yourself, your age, and how you got involved in bodybuilding. So, I'm 23 years old. Um, I started bodybuilding, like working out, when I was uh, 14. And uh, but the real bodybuilding started like uh, three years ago, three and a half years ago, when I started taking it seriously with the nutrition and training and stuff like that and uh, started competing like three years ago so until then I was just doing whatever and wasn't like tra tracking my my food and, and you know the training so okay so the real bodybuilding is like three and a half years okay and uh, yeah I just became an IFBB pro four weeks ago Okay. I, won, I got my pro card. So Finally, he got his pro card. Yeah. Finally, yeah. It, was, it was my uh, it was my first uh, NPC show. I got like <laughs> that's why I, that's why I joke. Finally, because it was his first NPC show, and then he becomes a pro. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's yeah, ridiculous. I got, li got lucky, um, but um, yeah, I done like uh, four other shows before that, but uh, in different uh, divisions. Different, and, yeah. Different. And in my country. Yeah, I'm from Slovakia, that's a small country in uh, Europe, yeah. middle of Europe, and uh, yeah, uh, we are here in Pinus. Yes, uh, Pinus is what he said. It yeah. sounded like he said something else in English, but oh, no, he said no. Pinus. Oh, Pinus. Yeah, Pinus. Pinus. Okay, it's Pinus. Okay, let's, yeah, Pinus. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we just shot the workout, back biceps and some rear delts, yep. and now we are going to do some arm wrestling. Yeah. You are going to teach me how to do it and not break my arm. Right, exactly. <laughs> and Oliver, you know, when I saw him, his arms look amazing. I mean, it's just insane. He's got those perfect peaks and everything, but he also has big forearms, and he actually, look at that, and he actually is super strong. Um, um, you know, he was curling, I think, 30 kilogram dumbbells. I think that's 66 pounds. Uh, he did it for like seven or eight reps. He did that last year. That was pretty good. So, um, ah, very, very impressively strong. So we're gonna test him out on the table a little bit. I'm gonna go through some tips as I always do, make sure he's safe, and uh, let's get to it. So uh, just rolling around here with, with, uh, with uh, Oliver, his hand is big. He has like thick hands, uh, his thumb, that's, that's scary. And, and his, his hand size, let's, let's test the hand size. So, Um, they're about the same, about the same in terms of length. I think his thickness is just thicker, thicker hand though. Yeah. Okay guys, so, um, as you know, I had that big shoulder surgery like four and a half months ago for my right shoulder. Uh, so just to kind of keep you guys up to date, um, I had my second practice, or maybe my third practice, actually, my third practice last Sunday. And it went well. I'm not going 100%. <laughs> So I'm going at about 70% at this point right now because I want to make sure that everything stays together. It looks like everything's doing really, really well. Um, I've kept up with, I'm still doing peptides. I uh, use BPC-157, TB-500, and also Mechano Growth Factor. So guys, look that up if you don't know what that is. That's a really good one. Activate satellite cells around the muscle. So super important for the healing purposes. And uh, so it seems to be going well. Um, I've been starting to train in the gym, uh, now doing that, 
I, I can do all the exercises. I'm just being very careful with my shoulder. So now I'm going to basically teach you the different arm wrestling moves that are done. Okay. So in arm wrestling, there's three main moves. There's the hook, the top roll, and the shoulder press. So we're going to start off with the hook first, just show them what that is. It's actually, you probably feel very comfortable with the hook. Okay. So we grip up. Okay. And you have your hand there. Now always, so when you're arm wrestling right handed, your right foot should be under the table. I've already told them this. And try and stay attached to the table. You're one of the very few people that actually gripped up and staying right on the table. That's perfect. And the reason is, is that of course, if you're out, it makes you have less leverage. Okay. So, and you have good leverage, you're in inches, like six feet tall, or close to 5'11"? Yeah, yeah, 5'11", 6 feet, almost, yeah. almost. You've got great height, yeah. Okay, so the hook is this. We always start off with a straight wrist, right? And then we go, ready, go. This, and then you pull towards you. So, you want to pull towards yourself, go ahead. Yeah, that's good, actually, yeah. Even, even going down like that, that was fine. So, the thing is, is that, Never arm wrestle where you're pushing to the side like this. Okay, so you don't want to push me like that. You're always somehow pulling me towards you. Don't even worry about this pin pad. A lot of people are like, oh, I gotta try and pin it. Don't worry about that. Just pull me towards you and I'm gonna go down. Okay, so pull me towards you. Yep, good. All right, now you're doing what a lot of people do is that they'll go like this to get that part of the move, but then they try to push down like this. Right, don't do this. So what you want to do, this is how I like to teach guys, uh, big girls, do, <laughs> anybody, um, is that I imagine that there is a metal rod that is attaching my lower arm and my upper arm together. Now, if, if this separates, that means it's kind of broken. Um, and I'm not going to be as strong. But if I keep it together and go down like this, that's a lot stronger than if I go like this, try to go like that, right? Or if I'm in a bad position going like this, it's better to go down. Yeah, okay. You can. Okay? The other thing is, is that your wrist is very important and okay, what you do with your wrist. So, yes, you want to, as soon as you start, no matter what the move is going to be, you're going to be doing what's called cupping. So, cupping is this. Yes. So, cupping for a hook is like this. Okay. So, um, let's just finish with the hook first before I go into anything else. The other thing to, to do is you want to kind of start kind of closer to the front of the pad up here. And what's nice about arm wrestling is that you can drag your elbow anywhere on the pad. Now, if you lift it up, that's called a foul. Okay, or if it comes off, they stop the match. Any two fouls, and you're out. Okay, for the match. So, what I like to do is this I get you into a hook, and then I drag you. Across the that way, across the way. Back. So I started kind of close to this corner and then I finished at that corner. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Good. That was good, yeah. All right, so that, that's the basics of the hook. Um, and we're gonna go, we're gonna, after I get through the basics here, we'll actually start to actually arm wrestle a little bit. The second move is called the top roll. So instead of attacking your biceps, which is, I know is gonna be super strong, <laughs> try to attack his hand, which again is probably super strong. So give me a little bit of pressure. See how I opened your hand up like okay. that? So your hand went and then your wrist went and then your arm went. Yeah, because if I put my fingers on it, I don't have exactly. the Exactly. Yep. So now tighten down, especially these fingers here. Right. Okay. Right. Tighten it down. See, it's harder, right? I can't, it's harder for me to get it because you, you, you got, you're taking away what's called my pronation. Pronation is, is this movement here. Yeah, so I'm so, doing the opposite movement. Right? Exactly. So, the, the top rolls are semi, semi complicated because it's, it it's several moves in one. So I'm cupping, here, go ahead and take a break and grip up here. So I'm cupping, right? And then I'm pulling back this way. I'm pulling back this way. I'm dragging a little bit. Yeah. So it's so several it's moves not, more. So it's not like this, but it's more like... More you actually, yes, like that. Like that? That one. So. Yep. Yeah. And notice my, my body weight is dropping down below the table. Yep, so I'm using my body weight too. I'm trying to hold this as tight as possible, this angle. I don't want to go like that. I want to keep it 
tight. Boom. Yeah. Okay. The last move is called the shoulder press. So uh, that would be like this. Yeah. Devastating move to destroy your opponent. <laughs> now you That's a, take it slow. Right? Yeah. Okay. Now you, being a tall guy, this could be a good move for you. You come in like this. You bring, 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 bring your arm. You pull, oh, rotate the shoulders a little bit. No, nope, wrong way. You're gonna come in and you're gonna come in like this. Watch. Okay. And press down. Boom. Yeah. There's a lot of pressure. That's why, so, he, as, as Oliver was just mentioning, there's a lot of pressure on the elbow. And that's why beginners, we recommend they don't do a press at all. Yeah, you work, work your way into that. Because, as you know, the first several months of arm wrestling is painful. Everybody deals with it, the elbow pain. The thing is, is you build that up and then it, for some people, like me, it does go away completely. I, I got to a point, kind of like Devin, I'm not a Devin Larry, but, um, in terms of my elbow conditioning, it's very good, and I could arm wrestle every day. Okay. okay. So, see, so you're just trying to push me down there. I can, I can hold you there. So, just because I'm a beast. No, it's not. Good. It's just that there's two reasons. One, I do have a good sticking point, but second. Technique-wise, he's not putting a lot of pressure on me. It seems like he is, because he's like, Ugh. but if you make a couple adjustments, I don't know if I should tell him this yet, right? That's why I got that first win in, because he's going to start beating me now. <laughs> so what happened was is that you, you kind of did this, and you got down, but then you tried to push me to this side. So he, the force direction was going this way. His force direction was going that way. And how's it supposed to go, everybody? That way. Uh, okay, open That's the force arms. direction. Yes. Yeah, never try to put me on the pad. Just put pull me this way, in this direction here. So open the arm. Open my arm up, yeah. Yeah, see how you pull me open like that? That's the thing to do. That's it right there. I gave you a little bit more force that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't want to scare you or anything, so we kept safe. We're in a safe position, so. Let's be safe. Yeah, okay. so I've already gone over with Oliver what a break arm position is, so, and he's nowhere near that because he's being smart. Right, exactly. He's, he's keeping his shoulders square to the table, right? Unless you're doing a press, of course, but you're mostly staying square to the table. You're not doing this. Yeah, okay, so. Yeah, I just have to show him every now and then who the man is. Okay. okay. <laughs> okay. Alright, so I want you to keep your elbow inside. Look, he's smart about that. So, what you just did, that little adjustment right there, is perfect. Because you know, as a lot of you guys know, beginners, they'll keep that elbow outside of their <laughs> it's a terrible position. It's not only dangerous, but it's also a weak position. Every time Oliver set up, he sets up with the shoulder here and his elbows inside. Perfect. Okay. Uh, now, we're gonna change his hand. So right now, he has a low grip on me. To basically, it, look, arm wrestling is a game of leverages, tendon strength, muscular strength, all of those different things. So let's work on the leverages. So if I were to try and grab Oliver down here, it's gonna be pretty tough. Uh, yeah, you're gonna have to fuck me up, right? But what if I'm up here? What if I'm like this? Do I feel, feel like, yeah, right, exactly. So you're trying to get as high as you can without crossing the line. So yeah, so basically, how did you know that? He, he's been secretly doing arm wrestling without me, without talking We've been to doing it in school, but um, I don't know exactly like what everything called, but okay. I know, I, we knew that we can turn, Yes. but this needs to be aligned first. Yes. But then we can turn, and uh, then the best thing is to be close to the close. arm, so that you are most strong, strong, and, and, most uh, leverage, most safe. Yes, and most safe. So he just basically pointed out that our knuckles had to be shown, which yeah. is correct. 
So if I, if I was to be like this, covering his knuckle right now, I have a much better um, leverage on him. Okay. Now this guy behind me, so this is one of our, this is one of our arm wrestlers here. Well, he's not really an arm wrestler, okay. He used to do plumbing, actually, I, I, I believe, plumbing or something like that. And he beats everybody at, at Benos, including me. I think I can beat him now. I'll smash him. No? Oh, look, look. No? <laughs> he wants some. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, he can yeah. beat me right now. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, shit. Now I have to be careful, so, because my shoulder. Oh, man. I need, I need some, some chalk. <laughs> no, I need chalk. Yeah. Here, here. His hands are very slippery. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. sure. <coughs> yeah, he's got me. Yeah, he's got me. Yeah, he's got Come me. on. Yeah, I can't do anything. Yeah. 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 Give me a few more weeks. Give me a few more weeks. Come on. Yeah. Sure. I don't think I'll get him down any further without hurting my shoulder. So it's either he dies or... It looks like it's below, but I can't tell. It looked like it went below, I can't tell. Yeah. <laughs> so all you have to do is, because like, we can't touch, this has to go below the head. Yeah. See, when my hand was taken out. You make, make him weaker, you know, so I yeah. can kill you. Ah! One, two, three, go, two, I'm not trying right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm too tired from the first one. Go. Pretty strong. I'm not allowing him to take me this time. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. Trying, trying. So Oliver feels good. Did not get to, you know, test the strength at full strength because uh, he did a back and biceps workout first, which, as you know, taxes <laughs> the arms. So it's very hard for arm wrestling. So it's pretty easy to beat him. So. At, but, least, uh, at least I was uh, warmed up. Right? Yeah, but he was warmed up, safe. no injuries, safe. Like, safe. That's the way we like to keep it. So, uh, anyway, uh, guys, if you could like, subscribe, and drop a comment. And please follow Oliver. I will have a link to his Instagram and his YouTube uh, below in the description. Thank you very much. Appreciate this man right here. So, again, for sure. sure. Hopefully in the future we'll meet again somewhere, maybe here. And uh, Absolutely. yeah, thank you for teaching me this. Definitely. Now I can beat everyone uh, <laughs> at a bar. That's and, right. Uh, <laughs> bar. Get some free drinks. Yes, yes. Awesome. And uh, thanks for shooting the video. Absolutely. And uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate you. Have a nice day. All right, guys. Peace out. Thanks a lot, man.